Nate, just what was the difficulty slowing them down there in the, those last three minutes of the game? Well, it was the last three minutes. It was uh, the entire game. You know, uh, LeBron uh, did what he does, uh, which established tempo, uh, really controlled the game, um, you know, from start to finish, uh, just took over in the second half. And it was, a, you know, it was a tough matchup for us. Uh, we needed to put big bodies. I mean, he's, he's smart. Uh, we had to uh, try to play uh, John and, and Oyeka guarding him. Um, when he had that matchup, he basically stayed on the perimeter and attacked. And then um, when we tried to put someone small on him, uh, he went into the post. You know, so uh, as I mentioned before the game, his IQ is really extremely high. And he understands, uh, you know, time score situation, uh, what he needs to do. He got his teammates involved, uh, you know, moving the ball, advancing the ball. They had 23 tr uh, transition baskets. Uh, most of that was coming from him, throwing it ahead. Um, and he just, you know, he started to make shots. He started to make his threes and uh, fadeaways and, and everything else. I mean, just want to those games that we've seen him uh, play. Coach, outside of obviously LeBron doing what he, doing what he did tonight on his 38th birthday, uh, would you have liked to see your, your guys uh, be better on the boards tonight? Uh, it Absolutely. seems like you got out rebounding I mean, quite a bit tonight. I mean, uh, Brian, you know, just dominated the paint. Uh, again, we, we had our center at times, our bigs guarding, uh, LeBron. So if you got one big out on the perimeter, uh, you're pretty small for us uh, without Clint and DeAndre in the game. So of course you you want to uh, be better on the boards. But I mean LeBron is bigger than every guy we had tonight. <laughs> you know he he's he's the four. You know so uh, you know we had Oyeka and uh, and um, John and Jalen. Uh, you know, trying to uh, stay in front of him while boxing out Brian, uh, who did a good job of placing himself under the basket. Uh, so when we were rotating, normally it was a small down there picking him up, and um, he took advantage of that. Back-to-back -back games, low turnovers, is that something that's uh, another positive going into the road trip? <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's always a positive uh, for us um, uh, to take care of the basketball and get an attempt um, at the rim. And, uh, you know, we've done that, but uh, what we're, we're, we're not doing a good job of is getting back in transition. Um, you know, normally when a team's just putting up uh, high, fast break points on you, uh, it comes from turn up, turning the ball over. I thought uh, some of that came from us settling. I thought we settled a lot uh, early in the game, you know, taking long jump shots and quick jump shots. And those long uh, rebounds, they got them and turned them into uh, fast break points. So, uh, you know, uh, we did a good job of taking care of the ball, but I thought we settled uh, for the quick uh, jump shot in the first half, which led to 15 fast break points at the half. Coach, it is a long season. Uh, three game slides happen. What's the message to the team to keep them together as they head out west? Well, as I told our guys, you know, we, we just got to stay with it. We got to keep working. And, uh, you know, we get, need to get some bodies healthy. You know, we need to get our guys back uh, healthy. Um, you know, uh, I thought our guys worked tonight. And uh, the Lakers came in and, and played a unbelievable game and led by LeBron. But, uh, We've got to keep working and, uh, you know, try to go out on this road trip and get some wins.